Hi, I'm Heather McPherson with the OrlandoSentinel.com's Test Kitchen. Welcome to Cinco de Mayo here in the Test Kitchen. And today I'm playing with avocados, giving you some great ideas for spicing up your guacamole. You know, avocados are so wonderfully buttery and rich, but you can add some things to it that'll just give it a little bit more level of flavor. I like to add things like feta cheese, so tangy. Goat cheese is good as well. Red onions have this little peppery bite, but they can be slightly sweet like a Vidalia as well. And then just a bell pepper mix, yellow, red, green, they have a little crunch to your buttery guacamole, but they also add some flavor too. And you can also chop up some sun-dried tomatoes. Don't worry about reconstituting them in oil. These are gonna come back to life in that buttery richness that is the avocado. And you can also use this for your leftover salsas. Add it in there to make some great flavor. When you're picking an avocado to know if it's ripe, you don't want it to be able to squish in your hands. It should give gently when you press your thumb on it. Just give a little bit. So you wanna pick up, it's a fruit that you need to pick up and feel. And what you do is you stick a knife around the side and what I'm doing is going right up against the nut, the seed, the pit inside. And then all you have to do is twist and it comes off beautifully. Now to get that pit out, all you need to do is strike it pretty firmly with your knife, like that, and twist, and it'll come right out. Now you can actually buy gadgets that can help you spoon the avocado out, but you know what? A tablespoon works just as well, so don't worry about buying anything new. To make guacamole, it's a piece of cake. You can take your potato masher, you can take a couple forks, all you're gonna do is mash up the avocado. Now one thing about avocados is they will turn brown. So you like to add a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice to it if you're not gonna serve it immediately. But this is one of those easy, easy condiments that you wanna serve immediately. So what I like to do is mash it right as my guests start to come. Now we're just gonna fold in our bell peppers and feta cheese for this easy guacamole. And you always wanna leave it a little lumpy. That always looks homemade. If it's too processed, you kind of think it just oozed out of a plastic container. So leave it a little lumpy. And you can serve corn chips, which are just fine. But try some plantain chips. You're gonna find those in any supermarket. They're, uh, they're made from unsweet, um, unripe plantains, and they have just a great little depth of flavor to them that I think a corn chip doesn't have. For OrlandoSentinel.com, I'm Heather McPherson in the Test Kitchen.